at Richards Industries in Cincinnati, Ohio, valve bodies that could have been machined in one setup on a multitasking lathe are not machined that way. Instead, Richards believes the more efficient approach is to use three different machine tools in sequence, with each piece flowing from one machine to the next. I recently talked about this three machine strategy with operator Jeff Werner and his supervisor Jim Becker, both of whom are involved with this cell. The first stop in the cell is a Mazak quick turn CNC lathe. The piece is loaded twice at this station. Jeff Werner shows the part after the cycle. Can you kind of point out with your finger each of the features that was machined? Yeah, we did the bore first. Yep. Let's fold over into the thread. All right. The second machine in the cell is another Mazak quick turn. Here is what is machined there. The third machine, also from Mazak, is a vertical machining center. Drilling around four, and then uh, drilling the tap on the plane, middle slot. How many of these were to machine in a typical day? Uh, we could probably do uh, close to 30 or 40 in a day. The cell also includes inspection and deburring. I asked Jim Becker why three machines are better than using one machine that could produce the part complete. So how did lean manufacturing influence the decision to produce parts on three different machines rather than try to do the whole part in one setup on one machine. If we were to use a multitasking machine, the throughput of that cell is not really going to um, change from where it was at its current place. Yeah. Now having the three machines, we're uh, getting parts out every five minutes or so. Oh, okay. Versus multitasking, you're going to have to wait that one cycle time is going to be the total of those three had it done. So actually, you're actually getting a better throughput on the three machine cell than maybe you would on a. On and even though you do some extra setups and there's a little more operator involvement in the long run, you're still looking at some better productivity with that. So really, cell. when you look at that uh, U-shaped cell, it's a really good example of continuous part part flow. I mean, parts always move from machine to machine to machine. There's no batching in between the machines, right. and you're always getting a finished part off the cell. Uh, when the part yeah. you know, makes its way through.